How's it going everybody? Uh, this is Wash Graham from the Kickstation support discord and today we'll be talking about the inbot monitor feature. So basically what this function is and you can access it from the monitor button on the dashboard is a built-in Shopify monitor for all new products and restocks on the 140 or so sites that Kickstation supports. By the end of this video you should know how to launch a monitoring task and also launch new tasks from the inputs that come up in the monitor screen. So you just downloaded the new update that includes the monitor and you want to learn how to get started. So first you click the monitor button on the dashboard and then this uh, side window pops up. And basically what you want to do to start off actually being able to use the monitor is to create a monitor task. So the easiest way to, I'm just going to go over the easiest way to do this. There are more customizable ways to do it, which we'll get, we'll get to in a few minutes. So basically the easiest way is to just choose all websites under the websites tab. This will monitor every single Shopify website that we support. And you can narrow this down by clicking certain websites or choose certain websites from here. And then from there, you can choose websites from the menu that you want to either include or exclude. So for now, we're just going to choose all websites. And then for now, we're also going to use keywords as the monitor input. So let's say, for example, I want to look for the Off-White Air Force Ones. And that's the only monitor input that I want. So under keywords, I might type plus 10 for the 10 plus air plus force and then plus off and then let's say i might only want the volt colorway so i'm gonna do or actually maybe just the black for simplicity so i'll do plus black and then minus volt and then minus yellow so this is just an example set of keywords uh by the time this video is live I'll have posted a guide on how to do really good keywords for Shopify, and then you'll be able to see that from the uh, from the announcements channel. So for this example, let's just say that these are our keywords. And then for our size breakdown, uh, we want to just pick any available. So we, since we're fine with any size getting checked out, so we're going to say any available here. For price check, we're going to use price check just in case it picks up a different product that we don't want. So we know that the, the retail price of these is $170. So we're going to do minimum 169 and then maximum 171. And then for our task name, we're going to name it uh, Off-White Air Force Black. And then we're going to click Save here. And then it, said, it prompts, are you sure you want to monitor all websites with these keywords? And you're going to press OK. And the reason why it prompts you here is because as soon as you start and you press OK, the monitor will start and start to look for every, any single product that pops up on Shopify that has those keywords. And if it matches all the keywords and it matches the price check and the size breakdown, it'll start auto checkout using the quick task settings you have saved. So we'll get to that in one second. So let's just press OK here. And then as you can see from here on the dashboard, we have this task named Off-White Air Force Black monitoring all websites. We can see our keywords here and then we can see here that it's monitoring. So it's only been a few seconds since we started this monitoring task and we can see that a new product already popped up on our monitor and this means that this product was loaded on a Shopify site in this case bodega and now we can see it in our monitor so let's say that this was a product that we actually wanted to check out so you could what you either could do is click create task and then it'll make a task using these uh, settings that you pre-selected here or you could just click start task so if you click start task you want to make sure that you know what you're doing here because now what the monitor will do is it will look at your quick task settings basically set here from the default master settings tab and just a side note that if you're not completely familiar with the quick task settings that we have a complete other video for this and you should definitely watch that video before you go any farther with this one it'll help you out a lot as far as some of the settings for the monitor function goes so it'll look at your quick task settings it'll look at your monitoring proxy list your checkout proxy list and your retry delay and the most important thing is it'll look at the profiles you have assigned here so in this case i don't have any default settings save for bodega so it'll automatically go to my master settings so let's say that this was the product that i was monitoring with my keywords let's say my keywords were plus raf plus simmons plus oswego and then a price check of 180 dollars so in this case it would see that this product matches and it would start a task basically using my quick task settings the important thing to note here is that the size breakdown that I selected in the task creator in the monitor window is what will determine the size. The quick task size does not have any impact here. The size is 100% determined by the task creator. 
but that's only if the keywords match. So if I clicked start task here instead, let's say that in this case, my keywords for Off-White Air Forces would not pick up this product. If I clicked start task here, then Kickstation will take the size selection from my quick task settings instead of from the monitor settings. That's a really important distinction that we'll, we'll reiterate inside the guide, but that's just something important to know about the sizes. Another important thing as far as distinctions go to note between monitor tasks and regular bot tasks is that when you have a monitoring task like this set up, you don't need to use your own proxies for this. Our own developer team's proxies are being used for these monitoring tasks. So you basically, you don't need to worry about, you can have 100 monitoring tasks running and none of your own proxies are being used for that. But if your keywords pick up a product from the uh, monitor, or if you click start task off of a product that pops up in the monitor, like one of these two products that have loaded since I started this tutorial video, if you click start task here, that will use the proxies that you have set up in your from your quick task settings. So you wanna make sure still that if you're gonna start a bunch of tasks off of monitor inputs, or a bunch of tasks that might pop up from your link or your keywords that you assigned in the task creator box, that you actually have enough proxies to do that in the first place. And this is just something normal that you would consider if you were just making tasks normally from the task setup settings on the Kickstation normal bot window. Another thing to reiterate about the quick task settings which get applied to the monitor settings if you start a task from the monitor or if your keywords from the monitor pick up a product like one of these products that's popping up right now is that you want to make sure that the assigned profiles you have on your quick task settings are not super similar to each other because Shopify can flag similar features of a, a checkout profile and possibly soft ban your information. So in this case, the status for those tasks, if you launch too many of them using the same profiles, is you'll just get a checkout URL failed. And that doesn't mean your proxies are banned or anything. It just means that your information is soft banned on Shopify. So when you're setting up quick task profiles, you wanna make sure that those are at least a little bit different from each other in terms of the shipping address, the billing address, and then also the payment information. The really nice thing about the monitor feature and another thing that I actually didn't mention yet is that you can actually resize this window. So if you have a large monitor, you can have a bunch of different products that all show up on the same window. One of the other nice things about this monitor is that if you're sitting in front of your PC, I don't know, just going about your day, you can actually watch for new products to pop up here and start tasks immediately from there. Or if you wanna just go about your day, you can set up monitoring tasks like I did here for off-white black air forces you can just leave that running and then if any products that match these keywords pop up in this monitor they will automatically start tasks for you i want to reiterate one more time about the size selection and how it varies a little bit based on whether the monitor input is coming from the keywords that you selected in the task creator settings versus when you click start task right here like from a monitor input that pops up here if you click start task from this button right here it'll use the settings that you specified for size only from QuickTask, as well as the proxies and the profiles like this. But if your keywords that you set up from the monitoring task pick up a product, it'll use the sizes that you specify right here. So an example where this might be useful is for something like Air Jordan 1s, where sizes seven through nine have much better resale price. So for this case, if you wanna set up um, keywords in a monitoring task for Air Jordan 1s, like the Hyper Crimson that just dropped recently, in the size breakdown here, you might want to put seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, and nine. And then if any products pop up that match your keywords, the t tasks will only start in that size range. And if a, if a product pops up on this visual bot monitor and you click start task, if your quick task settings aren't set to sizes seven through nine, like for example, mine are set to any available, it'll start a task from this button as any available. So just double checking that that's 100% certain with all of our users because it is a little confusing at first, but we just wanna make sure that you understand the distinction between those two types of tasks. One last thing, especially about using this feature for running restocks, is that actually setting up tasks from the task dashboard can usually be a little bit quicker than relying on the monitor for picking up restocks because if you set up tasks this way, um, once they've been running for restocks for some time, the checkout URL will already be generated, which means that it'll skip a few milliseconds worth of time in the checkout process if you're running for restocks here. And this is detailed a little bit in the in the documentation for the monitor feature, but just a reiteration of this point that you might want to run regular tasks from the normal bot window instead of just relying on the monitor. But obviously doing both will give you the best chance of getting a restock. Finally, as with basically every Shopify monitor, 
it's not guaranteed to hit 100% of the initial drops and in restocks, especially with some sites that drop single pair restocks. And you should always set up normal tasks as well as monitoring tasks, just for the best chance of getting as many pairs as possible. There's one more important thing that has to do with the size selection that you make in the task creator, which sort of comes into play for shoes like Air Jordan 1s where you might only want to have a very certain size range. And that has to do with how the Kickstation actually picks up and assigns monitoring tasks from the inbot monitor. So basically the logic flow of monitoring tasks is that the monitor catches a product, let's say for instance the Off-White Air Force 1s, it alerts the bot that it catches a product, then the bot starts a task and it looks for the sizes that you selected in the size breakdown over here. So let's say that you only want to have a size 11 for the Off-White Air Force Ones. So it does all the prior steps that I just listed before it looks for size, which is just how we've programmed the bot to work. So in the case that that size isn't available, in many cases that you'll see on the main bot dashboard, da dashboard, excuse me, that a task has already been made, but once it sees that there's not a size 11 in stock, it'll actually just stop that task or not let it run to completion. So in some cases, you actually might see tasks start on your dashboard that never actually end up checking out because the bot realizes that those aren't sizes that you want. So just to make sure that that's not something you should worry about, it's just the case of how the bot functions now. And we might look into changing the, the flow of that logic a little bit. So by now, you should have a pretty good idea of how to set up a monitoring task, uh, how the monitor window works, and then what the differences are between the quick task settings and then the settings that you set in the task creator section. Uh, one last thing that I have to say is that as of today, we have a Shopify monitor built into our Kickstation support discord. And hopefully you can utilize this alongside the built-in bot monitor to get as many drops and restocks as possible. Uh, we have pretty good times as far as Shopify monitor speeds go. And hopefully using these as well as this uh, manual area to report some things that we missed in the monitor that you should be able to get a lot of good uh, a lot of good notifications about new drops and restocks coming up in the future. So that's about it as far as the inbot monitor video goes. Uh, I hope that by now you understand how to set up a monitoring task, uh, how to use the inbot monitor window, and basically all there is to it as far as settings go. Actually, one thing I didn't mention earlier was that similar to quick task, you should be able to see a little green dot with a light saying monitor connected. Uh, this won't show up until you actually make a monitoring task. A lot of people have asked about that. And you just need to have a monitoring task running in order to see new products from our Shopify site list pop up here. So that's basically it. I uh, hope this video was informative. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tune in next time for when we post some more Kickstation informational content.